Russian President Vladimir Putin has taken over tactical decisions for the military in the Ukraine war. This is what happened next. Frustrated by the slow pace of the war, Vladimir Putin has now taken control of battalion tactical groups. These are units are about a thousand men and should usually be controlled by colonels and not political leaders. Our story starts in Bilohorivka in the Donbass where the Russians are trying to encircle Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. Vladimir Putin desperately needs to get his troops in to cut this area off so that he can show that he has a win. So at all costs, he sends everything he can through this little area across a river crossing. And I'm going to show you what it looks like as we zoom in there. And so you get a feel of what's really going on down there and what these guys were up. First, let's take a look at Google Earth and scroll in to see what it looks like without the war-torn landscape. So we're going to go in and this is the area right there. You can see the hump and the two dots that I've drawn in there. This will show where they tried to cross. And there's notice there's only a single road going against the river on the right side and on the left you're going to notice that little road that turns like that a and b are both towers that are electrical towers and you can see the top of the map is to the north there keep this in mind as we switch slides this is what happened after the artillery blew everybody away there and it's more than one attempt and this is another view keep in mind those are the towers over there so this is another view from up there on google earth and we're going to go in a little bit further and i want to show you just for perspective how big this river is now that's a lake an area that's about the size of the river. Take a look at that over there, how wide that is. That is not a slim passing right there. Now here's another spot down the river here and it shows the Ukrainian side has the high ground here and it's not just a little bit, it's a lot because as we zoom in, check this out. Those are telephone poles. This is These are commanding heights. They can see everything. And so the only thing left to do was which resulted in total carnage to the tune of 73 vehicles destroyed.